Seneca was a great philosopher. And many of the things he wrote, I think, can help people here on this channel. So in this video, I'm going to read chapter one from Seneca's Letters from a Stoic. This is the book here. You can Google it and probably find copies online for free because this is all public domain stuff. It's really, really old. I bought this book. I like it. It's a hardcover. And I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. It smells wonderful. Oh, love it. So I chose chapter one for this video because I think it directly has an impact on people who do mathematics, on people who are learning anything. I think it has an impact on everyone's life. All right, let's get to it. This is chapter one, and the title is On the Use of Time. This is from Seneca to his friend Lucilius. Continue to act thus, my dear Lucilius. Set yourself free for your own sake. Gather and save your time, which till lately has been forced from you or filched away or has merely slipped from your hands. Make yourself believe the truth of my words, that certain moments are torn from us, that some are gently removed, and that others glide beyond our reach. The most disgraceful kind of loss, however, is that due to carelessness. Furthermore, if you will pay close heed to the problem, you will find that the largest portion of our life passes while we are doing ill, a goodly share while we are doing nothing, and the whole while while we are doing that which is not to purpose. What man can you show me who places any value on his time, who reckons the worth of each day, who understands that he is dying daily. For we are mistaken when we look forward to death. The major portion of death has already passed. Whatever years lie behind us are in death's hands. Therefore, Lucilius, do as you write me that you are doing. Hold every hour in your grasp. Lay hold of today's task. And you will not need to depend so much upon tomorrow's. While we are postponing, life speeds up. Nothing, Lucilius, is ours except time. We were entrusted by nature with the ownership of this single thing, so fleeting and slippery that anyone who will can oust us from possession. What fools these mortals be. They allow the cheapest and most useless things, which can be easily replaced, to be charged in the reckoning after they have acquired them. But they never regard themselves as in debt when they have received some of that precious commodity, time. And yet time is the one loan which even a grateful recipient cannot repay. You may desire to know how I, who preach to you so freely, am practicing. I confess, frankly, my expense account balances as you would expect from one who is free-handed but careful. I cannot boast that I waste nothing, but I can at least tell you that I am wasting, and the cause and manner of the loss, I can give you the reasons why I am a poor man. My situation, however, is the same as that of many who are reduced to slender means through no fault of their own. Everyone forgives them, but no one comes to their rescue. What is the state of things, then? It is this. I do not regard a man as poor. If the little which remains is enough for him, I advise you, however, to keep what is really yours. And you cannot begin too early. For as our ancestors believed, it is too late to spare when you reach the dregs of the cask. Or that which of that which remains at the bottom, the amount is slight, and the quality is vile. Farewell. And so that is chapter one from Seneca's 
Letters from a Stoic. And this is just a wonderful book. And there's certain passages in chapter one that I think are worth just uh, emphasizing. Uh, particularly, he says, lay hold of today's task and you will not need to depend so much upon tomorrow's. And I think those are, are wise words for everyone watching this, especially if you're trying to learn something or do something hard. And if you're watching this video, chances are you are somehow involved in learning and science and mathematics. You have some passion. You're trying to do something with your life, either learn something or start a new career or just learn for the sake of learning because perhaps, you know, you didn't learn in the past and you've realized that all you have is the present. And so now it is the time to begin your mathematical journey. And that statement really emphasizes that you need to start now because all you really have is now, right? The past is the past. It's gone. It's a memory. It's good to reflect on it, but you don't want to go back and dwell on it. The future is not here yet, right? It hasn't happened. So you don't want to dwell on it. You want to use it as a source of hope and inspiration. Maybe things will be better in the future than they are now. That's what we all want. But at the same time, realize the future is not here. It is uncertain. All we have is now. And just to repeat it, lay hold of today's task and you will not need to depend so much upon tomorrow's. It's good advice for studying. I mean, if you think about it, uh, now is the time. And I've found that sometimes when I have to do something that I don't want to do, I oftentimes go into like this mental state where I tell myself, I really need to do this, but I don't want to do it. And one of two things happens. I quickly try to decide that I'm not going to do it today because of X, Y, Z, and I make that decision and I deal with the consequences, or I do it. But being stuck in that limbo of, oh, I should do this, but I haven't done it yet, that creates anxiety for people, and that's a negative thing. You don't want that, right? Try to live for the present and enjoy the time you have now and do the best you can, you know? So if you're trying to learn math, go do it right now. After watching this video, sit down with a pencil and a piece of paper and just start working on math. If you want to learn how to code in C, and I'll use C, and I know that C isn't the most popular language in the world, but it's the one I taught myself many years ago, go do it, right? Get a book, buy a course on Udemy, watch a video, start coding today. If, if you want to get in shape, put the shoes on, go for a walk, go for a run, sign up at a gym, start exercising. The time is now. And that is really, I think, one of the biggest things that um, I get from, from chapter one. And I hopefully um, this, this helps some people uh, watching this video. So yeah. What do you think about this little reading? Um, do you want to see more videos like this? Do you think that it has helped you in some way? If so, I would love to hear it. If you know something about Seneca, or if you've read Seneca, or if you know other great philosophers, or if you have any recommendations, leave comments in the comment sections below. And I really want to know what you think about this. I really want to know what you think. Anyways, I've talked a lot. I will leave a link to this wonderful book in the description. This, this copy is pretty good. It's a hardcover. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that I got it for what I paid because it's a hardcover. And it's pretty good quality. It smells great. Oh, on progress. We'll have, to, we'll have to save that one for another video. Also, if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. And if you want to learn mathematics, I do have tons of math courses. They're actually on Udemy. But if you get them, please use the links from the description of any of my videos or from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Until next time, I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.